Hello, it is very common that you would like to plot uh, data uh, during the simulation uh, and in many cases in current days uh, it is enough to have sample script to make it happen. So here we are, we are offering you a simple sample script plotting the data and in different scenarios. So first case is that we have data in instance table. You see here different uh, entries of the same data. And we have the script and script as you see here in opaque action could be opaque behavior. If we go to the specification, you see this is the script in the groovy. Take a look at that script uh, based on your needs. And uh, we just plot it here and we get the data very nicely visible. You see there is a legend with the names of the instances. There is the dots uh, based on the each uh, line color coding too. This chart is on top. This chart is dynamically generated. It is not five different charts. It's actually all the data in one chart. It's also scalable. So if we will add, you know, so for example, here like five uh, and here we will change the name to a, you will see all of that represented uh, dynamically. You see there is five uh, scaled correctly. There is a change the name correctly. So we can also make it larger, make it smaller. All of that is uh, correctly represented. Okay, now let's take another case. Now we have a chart, uh, but now we want to export the data to XML. So here is another script. The script is also in Groovy. It's not only plots the data, but also exports to XML. So let's run the script here. So you have the chart data and you have the XML generated. So if I will go here to this link, let's go to this link here and let's open this XML. Let's open it in some uh, editor. Let's do notepad just once. Here you go. This is XML generated using this one. Okay, now the last but not least, we have uh, actually simulation running. So you have simulation running and you get the output uh, and you want to change that output. It can run through multiple scenarios and then you can update that uh, chart uh, during the simulation. So let's run this scenario, multiple iteration scenario. So here we have the simulation data running you see and uh, updating this uh, chart dynamically and as you can see here this chart is now updates quite quickly so there's no such kind of like big delay in that so you could actually even uh, remove this uh, two millisec to 200 milliseconds make 100 milliseconds it would update even faster and uh, even run with the fastest update but just we need to monitor the data, I guess. Okay, so here you go, three different samples. Uh, take the uh, best fit uh, and update for your needs and let us know how that works.